Sports in Time! Yeah! Despite Power Rangers being a series aimed at all ages, the reality is that they have created very good villains, and, on many occasions, they are even scary. In addition, in the comics, which are aimed at a more adult audience, we can also see excellent villains. After 30 years of history, we can make many lists of the most powerful villains, here is my list, don't forget to leave yours in the comments. In this list, I am not going to add Ivan Ooze because he is not canon, and we have a complete video about this powerful villain. Let's start by talking about Emperor Grum from Power Rangers SPD who is one of the ugliest and creepiest villains to ever appear in the series. With a skeletal body and glowing red eyes, he looks like death and this makes him look more menacing. He has conquered and massacred several worlds and he has also tried it with the Earth. His ship alone can destroy an entire planet and although this villain worked for Anmi, a great malevolent brain that was behind all the plans and that Grum was only attacking the Earth to get the resources to create him a body, even so, the one who did all the dirty work was Grum. This powerful villain tormented the Kruger for a long time, lying to him about the death of his wife and, Grum had her kidnapped and alive. Another powerful villain is Lothar from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. This villain was a psychotic ninja master who led his own army. He aimed to destroy all the ninja academies so he could be the one and only ultimate dark ninja master. He was so insane that he kidnapped students from the Ninja Academy run by his brother and turned his brother into a guinea pig. Although the series shows a fun, goofy, fourth wall breaking Lothar, this villain was really a psychopath who was capable of anything, including killing the parents of the Thunder Rangers. His greatest attribute is his personality which can confuse you as he pretends to be a good and gentle person when he is a villain with no feelings or remorse. Let's move on to a more well-known villain, Divatox, a space pirate who has a war with the Power Rangers Turbo. This villain may fool you with her pretty appearance, but she is actually rotten inside. Although she may not look like such a powerful villain, she is the only villain who was able to defeat the Power Rangers in the TV series. This villain is in search of fame and wealth, which is why she roams the universe in a galactic submarine plundering worlds to quench her thirst for greatness. This pirate participated in the kidnapping of Zordon and was in charge of hiding him in different worlds while his powers were taken away. One of the most famous and powerful villains is Lord Zed. He is the villain who controlled Rita for many years, although he later married her. He even forced Golder to kill his own brother to prove his loyalty. This villain is so powerful that he managed to destroy the Power Rangers Zords, in addition to kidnapping several of them and nearly destroying them. His physique is very scary because he has a burned body with metallic bones and a mask with a red crystal, plus he carries a cane which helps him to channel all his power. Lord Zed was so dark and terrifying when he came to the series that many parents complained and had to modify this character a bit to make him not so dark. If we talk about space villains, we must talk about Astronema from Power Rangers in space. In the United Alliance of Evil, she was only surpassed by Dark Spectre and when he was not there she took over as the Princess of Evil. 
She was raised at the hands of Ecliptor for the purpose she fulfilled, to be heir to Dark Spectre's throne. Astronema has been one of the few villains who has managed to kill a ranger. She managed to trap the Pink Ranger of the Prisma Rangers and tried to get the location of Zordon from her, but since the Pink Ranger didn't tell her anything, Astronema crushed her spine, causing her instant death. One villain that many fans have said is one of the most powerful is Rancic from Power Rangers Time Force. This villain is a mutant who comes from the year 3000 and travels to the past and fights against the Power Rangers. Because of his appearance, he was rejected and outcast and this gives him motivation to do evil. His humanoid appearance makes him feel a little more real and I think the terror in the viewer is greater because beyond looking like a fantasy, it seems a reality. This villain has been one of the few that the rangers of his time could not defeat him, they even managed to catch him only because he surrendered and gave himself up. Although there are other villains such as Dark Spectre that could be on this list, I only wanted to focus on those who had direct battles with the Power Rangers and this includes the multiverse and therefore, Lord Draken, for me, would be the villain of villains. Lord Draken, formerly known as Tommy Oliver, is a villain from an alternate universe, who unlike the Tommy Oliver we know, agreed to stay with Rita after coming out of his spell. After learning the spells that Rita taught him, he killed her to become the main conqueror of the world. This villain managed to kill several rangers and transformed Kimberly into his servant, in addition to defeating Jason after stealing the power of the White Ranger and fusing it with the power of the Green Ranger. Lord Draken was driven by the evil inside him and the distrust he had in everyone, he even told the rangers that friends were useless. He created a whole army dressed as rangers and each one had a specific function and transformed his world into a chaos full of darkness and terror. We know that the list can go on and on because after 30 years of history Power Rangers has a lot of very good villains, so leave in the comments which other villains you would add to this list and why. If you like Power Rangers villains, like this video and subscribe to this channel, for more Power Rangers badassery.